So the general transfer window is just around the corner and all the league seasons will open the window for their teams to add strong players to their squad. And our Ghanaians also will be very, very watchful to look at the kind of teams and also the kind of clubs their players are going to play for. Okay, so I'll be telling you something about Antoine Semen, a very fantastic player, and the team that are chasing him. Also, I'll be telling you about Ali Said, one of the uh, revelations in the Black Stars team uh, when we went to the World Cup Qatar 2020. I'll be telling you something about Daniel Efriye Banya and also uh, Danlad Ibrahim, two local players that went to the World Cup with Black Stars of Ghana. Okay, so I'll be telling you more about them. But hey, before we do that, this is Bedwick News TV. Can you subscribe to the channel? Hit the notification bell, share this video to your friends, and also let me know what you think about these Black Star players moving from one club to another. You know, in general, I do think it will help them, they will get more playing time. Uh, for them to prepare because you know in March Ghana is going to play against Angola in African Cup of Nations qualifiers and that will be 2024 in every coast okay so before I move to the foreign based players that is uh, Antoine Semenyon and also Ali Dusedu let me tell you okay now let me start from Ali Dusedu before I come to Antoine Semenyon then I go to uh, Dan Lad Ibrahim okay you know Ali Dusedu pops up on the radar of English Premier League club that is at least uh, United okay so uh, Leeds United monitor Ali Dusedu closely doing the World Cup, okay, the defender who applied uh, his trade for Clement Fort in the French League 1 had a decent tournament despite the Blasters early exit at the Mundia. You know, the Clement Fort uh, right back made two appearances at the World Cup starting against Portugal and also Uruguay. Okay, so better news TV, we have learned that Leeds United are interested in signing the tough tackling right back in the summer transfer window okay so Leeds united are expected to monitor the versatile defender for uh, the remainder of the french league and uh, before making a bid ali decided is currently uh, has three years left on his contract uh okay existing contract so he has three years but in the summer uh Leeds united will approach Ali Dusedu and his uh, club and manager to see if they will get him but they, they will be keeping eyes on him to see if what he did in the World Cup is exactly what he will do for his club you know can I believe Ali Dusedu is uh, fantastic he's a revelation in the Blasters team his defensive abilities is very very uh, important and is key and uh, so he is versatile he can play as a midfielder he can play as a right back, he can play as a centre back, you know, doing the furnishing tournament in June. Uh, that's Blasters tournament play in Japan. He plays as a uh, centre back when Ghana needs centre backs most. He plays as centre back. So that is something very important. That is it is versatile. And if you go to Leeds United, it will help him because Leeds United are uh, a club that like playing beautiful football. They don't fear anyone, what they say. So as they say do is that and also let me talk about this uh one ghana young star that's a uh, kojo prempe or palm no so this sad ifk uh nuremberg you know they have signed him uh that is a, a very fantastic play they have signed him from a uh, tram divise you know a tram divise is an uh, academy in ghana so they have signed this very young talented Football uh, Kojo Prepra uh Frame Pond. Yeah, it's Kojo Prepra Frame Pond from Atre Division. And Atre Division is the same club, uh Academy that the teacher of Anite of uh Santiago de Cor played for. So very fantastic uh one from that young chap. Let's see uh what he also be doing when he go to uh, that Swedish league. Let me talk about Antoine Salem Semenyo. You know, he Antoine Salem Semenyo is a black stars striker, 22 years of he played for the Bristol City in a championship. Okay, now Crystal Palace are monitoring the situation of a Bristol City uh, striker, the 22 year old, to see if they can grab him and sign him coming generally transfer window. So Antoine Samuel is very fantastic. He's good. He, he like he runs behind the defenders, ball controlling. Uh, uh, it's, it's exceptional. So he's also on the radar of Crystal Palace. No, uh, currently we have two Ghanaian players at the Crystal Palace as a shop 
and uh, also Jordan IUP Merrick, very fantastic okay player also and uh if I'm to have some young go there he'll be able to have more playing time and also build his uh his form for uh Ghana Black Star. So this uh the story from those uh, European guys. Okay, let me talk about these fantastic players now Nal Ibrahim and also a free Banya. You know, a free Banya and Nal Ibrahim are expected to join the camp of Black Galas later this very the pair were in Qatar for the World Cup with the Black Stars but did not feature in any of the games okay following the blasters exit from the tournament the two players have arrived in ghana and are suspected to uh team up with their uh, their teammates as a ghana man soccer center of excellence in pram pram okay so they were not part of the black galaxy team that defeated her so folk two goals to one in la on last sun they however are not worker you know and workers the head coach for black galaxy who is the head coach for black guys has confirmed that they are uh, this pair that's a Daniel Ibrahim and Sofri Ebani are expected to arrive in camp this very week. Now, Bani and Danlad are already part of the team before they were invited to the Blasters to travel to Qatar for the World Cup. And I, I am told they are in town. But this morning, I heard uh, Danlad is ill and has been admitted to hospital. Uh, so seriously, I am expecting them to report to camp when they are uh, okay. That's Danlad is okay. Then a free Bani will be also coming. And what this is what also said uh concerning a free Bani as the head coach and the worker. I said for Bani, I don't know about his condition, but I'm expecting them to join us here so that we can all work together before we move outside Ghana. So that is it. You know, Ghana will be making a return to the Cham tournament after missing the last three editions last three in Ghana to mean Kobe yeah and some penny so we have qualified to go uh the next one in January 2023 20, uh, you know the black galaxies are in group C where they will face Morocco yes Morocco mm, yes but the only advantage you no know, those European guys will not be playing some so to be uh no no league league you know. so Morocco Madagascar and also uh Sudan so these are the Seems in Group C with uh, Black Galas is formerly called the local Black Stars. Now they are called uh, local Black Galas, Galas mm, Stars, Stars, Galas. And so be bizarre. What they are. So guys, these are the stories that I have for you for now. This is Bidin East with the name still remain Kofi. I think I think I want kindly subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, select all, and also kindly comment, share, and also don't forget to subscribe. To the channel this is baby news tv thank you very much let's meet another one bye bye for now